Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have an empty video for you guys and I haven't filmed empty video in like maybe uh, two months I wanna say and um, I actually filmed a different video but uh, get ready with me video I was going to a uh, Beyonce concert and um, so stay tuned for that video uh, because it, ha it um, takes a little bit more time uh, to edit to edit it so that's why I will put up this video first and um, my get ready with me video will be uh, soon after that so stay, uh, stay tuned for that if you're interested and um, let's just get, start get started in this couple of months I used quite a bit of uh, products and uh, I just uh, go through them real quick so the first product is this um, hair mask by L'Oreal is total repair of five and it smells really really good uh, and after using it uh, my hair feels so soft and silky I love uh, this product and um, it's just five dollars I think and you get like a lot uh, so that's great. Then I also finished up uh, my restoring con conditioner, Total Repair 5 conditioner by L'Oreal as well. I finished up shampoo a couple of months ago and I finally finished uh, the conditioner. I also finished shampoo and conditioner by Pantene Pro V, uh, beautiful length. It, it's, just, it's okay also, I mean I don't have anything uh, bad to say, it smells good. but. Uh, I just uh, like to kind of switch up the shampoos and conditioners um, every couple of months. Um, so then I finished this. I for some reason I finished a lot of uh, conditioners in this couple of months. This is uh, keratin protein conditioner by uh, Husk, and I actually have a full uh, review on this line. They have. Um, argan oil uh, shampoo and conditioner and keratin protein so I will put the link somewhere here and um, I think uh, I've used so many conditioners just because it's um, very hot here and I always like feel my hair is um, dry and as if they need like more uh, moisture or something so I use a lot of conditioners and stuff like that and a lot of masks I finished all the, also this mask by Husk as well. This is argan oil mask and keratin mask. And this mask just okay. I mean, uh, L'Oreal uh, is much better, much, much better. And I enjoyed using uh, shampoo and conditioner more than I enjoyed this um, mask. I finished up this um, exfoliating body wash. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. It's um, uh, with burnt brown sugar, and it has like uh, a little like exfoliants there. And uh, I just really, really enjoyed this. Uh, I will definitely repurchase uh, this gel body wash. Next uh, product is the thermal water by uh, Vichy, and uh, I think I got it. Uh, I don't know if. Um, it sells if it's sold if it's sold here in America. I think I got it at duty free or something. But I really really enjoy this thermal water, especially in the summertime. I think like it's very essential. I don't know. I just uh, a lot of times I feel like um, I need to refresh my face and stuff, and I just use this thermal waters a lot. So I enjoyed using that. Uh, then. Um, finished this crystal whitening brightening eye mask I got it on some Asian online store I don't remember which one uh, I'll put the link down below um, and to all the products mentioned uh, as always and uh, you will see it in my get ready with me videos but I really really love uh, this mask it's like a gel textured uh, mask under your eyes and they just instantly um, brighten uh, and lighten your the area like under like your eye area so uh, uh, finally stopped using these uh, eyelashes by uh, J cats I, I use them a lot and just recently they started to look like a little uh, not good already and I was like okay that's time to uh, 
uh, stop using them. And they also come with the um, glue, but I still have that glue, uh, so I uh, saved it. And um, it's like a black glue, so uh, it's perfect. And I got it in my Ipsy bag, like I think in winter. So enjoy those. And uh, it's in the number EL213. And um, I didn't finish it, but because it's already, I think, expired or something, I'm throwing it away. Uh, it's by Avina uh, Tinted Moisturizer and it has SPF 30. Um, and it's with uh, broad, broad spectrum sunscreen. But um, I didn't enjoy it. I mean, I use it a little bit, but um, I didn't like it so much and I don't know, just didn't like the product. Um, also finished this uh, hand cream by Vaseline and it's healthy hand and nail. I have one in the, like a, it's a pink uh, package and I have one in the white one. Uh, it's unscented I think and I enjoyed white one much more than I do this because this has strong smell to it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just okay. I mean, it's yeah, it's moisturized, but it's not like something like wow. So um, I don't think I will repurchase this one. Uh, then I finished this uh, purifying exfoliant, and um, it was just okay. Um, I have a deluxe uh, size, but the full size they're pretty pricey on the pricey side, and, and I expected um, more from it but um, that was just okay exfoliant uh, finished this uh, leave-in conditioner by uh, sexy hair and uh, it's also a travel size and I got it in my Ipsy bag a couple of months ago and I really really enjoyed it I like the smell I like uh, the product and I think it detangles uh, my hair pretty good. It's leave-in leave -in conditioner and uh, um, yeah, it's conditioning and detailing uh, your hair. So I really enjoyed this product. Uh, next thing, I finished this um, powder by uh, Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and um, I like this product. I mean, um, have nothing bad to say about it but I think um, next I want to try Rimmel Stay Matte powder uh, so maybe I will repurchase this powder but it will not be soon uh, then I finished this uh, moisturizer by Michael Todd I have a full review on this on my uh, blog if you're interested but um, I like this product but I didn't like the smell of it uh, I know that it's like uh, organic and it's 81% organic uh, and um, so maybe that's why the smell wasn't that appealing but um, my husband tried to like stay away from me when I was uh, enjoying and it's not so so terrible or maybe I got used to it like over uh, time but like the, the scent is not so pleasant um, then I finished this perfume um, really enjoyed it but I forgot the name of it and it doesn't say anywhere in the bottle it was a gift um, and I just so if you guys know what the name of this perfume please please let me know uh, because I'm still it was like Marina something I think I, I, I just I, I don't remember I, I forgot but really enjoyed it's it has very fresh um, perfect for summer scent it's not it definitely not a winter scent and it's not like all year round so it's definitely summer scent but I um, really enjoyed it a uh, couple of baby products uh, we use honest diapers so 
I we finished a lot of those, but I just saved one. Um, um, bag and um, finished a lot of wipes honest wipes we love those um, I usually get travel sizes also recently discovered uh, earth best sensitive baby wipes uh, they're very very soft and um, they chlorine free and uh, alcohol free hypoallergenic and unscented so I like that and they're very very soft they like I think they're softer than uh, honest uh, wipes and I think those are the softest wipes that I've tried um, then uh, we finished this Pampers uh, baby fresh wipes but they smell so strong and um, I used it I think only for my uh, hands because I didn't want to use it uh, on uh, Christian but just wanted to show you guys I'm not a fan of Pampers uh, I know a lot of people like them like them Pampers and uh, Huggies we're just not fans of um, those brands um, and uh, we're almost done oh I finished this I forgot about this I finished this um, Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment by Tarte and um, it's a good product it's a very heavy and um, very thick eye cream so if you're a fan of thick eye creams I know a lot of people are uh, you will definitely like this uh, for me it was it was not bad actually it was um, uh, I think I enjoyed it um, it's definitely not something that I think I will repurchase because I think there are uh, better eye creams out there than this one but um, I enjoyed uh, using it next product is this uh, soothing relief moisture cream uh, by Avino it's Avino baby and I used it on uh, me actually and a uh, thick cream and um, I don't think it um, moisturized uh, the way I want moisturizer moisturized moisturize you know uh, but uh, it's just okay uh, product I will not repurchase it um, but uh, yeah I like that it doesn't have like strong scent to it which is good uh, it says fragrance free but um, it has a little bit of scent but not strong but I don't know it's just okay moisturizer and the last product here I have this uh, cleanse and tone uh, cleanser and toner by my Michael Todd and uh, my battery is low so uh, it's for oily and combination skin I have a full review on this as well I really enjoyed using this product um, it's a little bit on a uh, pricing side I don't remember I think it's like maybe 15 to 20 dollars I, I, I don't remember I will put somewhere here but really enjoyed this and I like that it's uh, like organic and stuff so uh, yeah and this sums up all my empties um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, thumbs up this video if you want to see more and uh, I will see you guys in my next video and thank you guys so much for watching bye guys